Section 5.4, Special Products. In this section, we look at what happens sometimes when we multiply together certain polynomials. Say, for example, we wanted to multiply the polynomials a plus b and a minus b. Well, if we use either of our multiplication strategies from the previous section, we would get a squared minus ab plus ab minus b squared. So either FOIL or the standard multiplication technique shown in the previous section. Notice that these like terms Notice that the like terms go to 0, and we're left with a square minus b square. All right, so let's look at another one. 7x minus 6 and 7x plus 6. All right, so 7x times 7x is 49x squared. 7x times positive 6 would give me a plus 42x. Now negative 6 times 7x would be a minus 42x. And negative 6 times positive 6 would be a minus 36. And again, those middle terms are opposites and add up to 0. And we're left with 49x squared minus 36. So notice that the square of 7x is 49x squared, and the square of, 36, of, of 6 is 36. And this will happen every single time when we have this a plus b, a minus b pattern. In general, for any real numbers a and b, a plus b times a minus b is a square minus b square. So when we see a situation like this, a minus b, a plus b, and they're being multiplied, you simply square the first, square the last, put a subtraction in between. Squaring 3x is 9x squared, squaring 5 is 25. Two r plus nine s times two r minus nine s. Why don't you try this one out on your own? I have an a plus b times an a minus b. So I'll get an a square minus b square. Two r times two r. That's a four r square minus nine s times nine s. 81 s square. Now what if I had this a plus b square? <clears throat> well remember to square a binomial or to square anything means to multiply it by itself. All right, now using FOIL or the general multiplication method, I have a times a is a squared, a times b is ab, b times a is also ab, and b times b is b squared. These like terms do not add up to zero. They double, in fact. There's two of them. So I'd have a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So what's 3x minus 5 squared? Well, if we use the same idea, that would be 3x plus 5 by 3x plus 5. So I'd have 3x times 3x, that's 9x squared. 3x times 5 is 15x. 5 times 3x is again a 15x. And 5 times 5 is 25. Again, these like terms do not add up to 0. They there's two of them. It's doubled. So we have 9x squared plus 30x plus 25. 
So notice that these fit the same pattern. Square the first, 3x squared is 9x squared. 2ab, a times b, 3x times 5 is 15x, and there are two of them. Double it. 3x times 5 is 15x, doubled is 30x. And b squared is 25. Now what if there's a subtraction in there? What if it's a minus b squared? Well, that would still mean a minus b times a minus b. Multiplying it out, we'd have a squared. Outers give you a minus ab. Inners give you another minus ab. And the lasts will give you a plus b squared. Again, these middle terms do not cancel. They're both negative, so they would add up, and there would be two of them. We have a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. And if I have 2y minus 11 squared, well, again, that means 2y minus 11 by 2y minus 11. First would give me 4y squared. Outers would give me minus 22y. Inners, another minus 22y. And lasts would be plus 121. Again, those middle terms do not add to 0. And we get 4y squared minus 44y plus 121. And again, notice the square of 2y is 4y squared. 2y times 11 is 22y. Doubling it, there's a minus 44y. And 11 squared is 121. So those last two slides actually bring up an important um, shortcut. For any real numbers a plus b, a plus b squared is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, and a minus b squared is a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So in each of them you get an a squared plus b squared, but that middle term is a 2ab, and the sign changes depending on the sign of the binomial. So notice that this has the same sign. So using the pattern, 4x plus 7 squared, I would say 4x squared is 16x squared plus 2ab, 2 by 4x by 7. 4x times 7 is 28, there's two of them. 56x plus b squared, 7 squared is 49. Now, if you write it out as 4x plus 7 times 4x plus 7, you get the same thing in the end. Why don't you try these other two on your own? x minus 12 squared would be x squared, which is just x squared, minus 2 times x times 12, so 24x plus 12 square, 144. So x square minus 24x plus 144. 5x plus 9y square would be 5x square, so that's 25x square, plus 2 by 5x by 9y. 5x times 9y is 45xy times 2 is 90xy, and then plus a 9y square, 81y square. Now what if I had something like this, 2x minus 5 cubed? Well, isn't that the same as 2x minus 5 by 2x minus 5 squared? 
All right, if you think of your rules for exponents. So I'm going to leave the, two, the first 2x minus 5 on the side. Now, 2x minus 5 squared would be 2x squared minus 2 by 2x by 5 plus 5 squared using the pattern developed in the previous slide, or two slides ago, I suppose. So I have 2x minus 5 by 4x squared minus 20x plus 25. Now all I need to do is multiply this binomial by the trinomial. And I'll go ahead and, and use some colors here. So distributing the 2x in, I'd have an 8x cubed, 2x times minus 20, that would be a minus 40x squared. 2x times 25 would be a plus 50x. Now, distributing the minus 5 through, I'd have a minus 20x squared, a plus 100x, and a minus 125. Combining like terms, 8x cubed minus 60x squared plus 150x minus 125.